Question two: Fifty people waiting in line at movie cinema were asked their preference of movie genres: action, comedy, or drama. For A, draw a Venn diagram to represent the information provided so far. Four prefer all three. This is a four. Let's label the set. This is a A. This is a C. This is a D. So twelve minus four equals eight. Seven prefer action and a drama. Seven minus four equals three. Eight prefer comedy and a drama. Eight minus four. Equals four. Nine prefer action only. So here's nine. Three prefer drama only. This is a three. Universal set、uh, fifty people. For B, write down the number of people who prefer action, but not、uh, drama. Action, but not.、Uh, Drama. It will be this and、uh, this. So we have eight plus nine equals seventeen.、Uh, There are twenty-three people in total who prefer comedy. C one. Calculate the number of people who prefer comedy only. Comedy is.、Uh, This we will use twenty three minus eight minus four minus four equals seven. This is a seven. Seven people who only prefer comedy for C two. Find the number of people who prefer none of these three genres. We will use fifty minus each number in different set region. We will get the people who prefer none of these three genres. A person is chosen at random from the fifty people that were waiting in line. For D, find the probability that this person prefers action. Probability of A that equals number of elements in A over fifty. That equals nine plus eight plus four plus three over fifty equals twenty-four over fifty. You can leave your answer as it is, or you can reduce twelve over twenty-five. Let's go to D two. Prefer. Comedy and drama, but not action. It will be this number adding together. So we have fourteen over fifty equals seven over twenty-five. For D three, doesn't prefer either action or comedy. These people who. Don't prefer either action or comedy. Three plus twelve will be fifteen over fifty. Three over ten. Let's go to D four. Doesn't prefer action. Given that、uh, the person doesn't prefer comedy, this is a conditional probability. P of A prime given C prime equals probability of A prime intersection C prime over P 
probability of uh, C prime. We will use a uh, number of uh, elements uh, to show this uh, probability. We have uh, N of A prime or intersection C prime over N of uh, C prime. That equals 23 people prefer comedy. 50 minus uh, 23 people don't uh, prefer comedy. So we have 50 minus uh, 23. A prime uh, intersection, C prime uh, will be 3 plus uh, 12. That is uh, 15. So we have a uh, 15 over 27. Reduce will be 5 over 9. Let's go to question three, Venn diagram. During an exam that has a, a total of eight questions, Paula correctly solved the questions three, four, six, seven, and eight. During the same exam, Quentin correctly solved the questions one, two, three, six, and eight. Set P equals three, four, six, seven eight set q equals one two three six eight and a p intersection q equals three six eight so we have what uh, three six eight then the questions uh, that only paula Solved correctly. Um, four, seven. The questions uh, that only Quentin solved correctly is uh, one, two. Then the questions uh, that neither of uh, them solved correctly. Um, question. Five. We will write down the number of uh, elements uh, for each uh, set region. This is a two. This is a three. Here is a two. This is a one. So that it's easier for us to figure out uh, the probability. For B, find n of p union q we can add all these three together equals seven for c find the probability that a question at random has been solved correctly by paula or quentin but not both the questions solved by Paula or Quentin, but not both, uh, will be this. Four questions. So four over eight equals one over two. Look at the D. Find the probability that a question at random has not been solved correctly by Paula. Given that it has been solved correctly by Quentin. For the D, we know this is a conditional probability. P of P prime given Q, that equals, I will use a number of elements to show this probability. P prime or intersection Q over n of q. n of q will be 3 plus 2, that equals 5. n prime intersection q will be this 2 only. So we have 2 over 5. For e, are p and q mutually exclusive? Justify your answer. We know probability of a P intersection Q equals 
3 over 8 is not equal to 0. So P and Q are not uh, mutually exclusive. Let's go to question four. If R and S are independent events, where P of R equals 0 0.7, P of S equals 0 0.4, find the P of R intersection S. Since R and S are independent events, which means P of R intersection S equals P of R times P of S. That equals 0 0.7 times 0 0.4 equals 0 0.28. So we have 0 0.28. This region, we can get 0 0.7 minus 0 0.28 equals 0 0.42. This section, we can use 0 0.4 minus 0 0.28 equals 0 0.12. Then we use uh, 1 minus 0 0.42 minus 0 0.28 minus 0 0.12. We will get 0 0.18. So for the B, find the probability of R union S we will add uh, these uh, three numbers together. Or you can use uh, 1 minus uh, 0 0.18 equals uh, 0 0.82. Or you can use the uh, addition rule P of R union S equals P of uh, R plus P of uh, S minus P of uh, R intersection S. So we have uh, 0 0.7 plus 0 0.4 minus 0 0.28. We will get 0 0.82. For C, find uh, P of uh, R given S using the formula probability of R intersection S over probability of S. Probability of S given 0 0.4. Probability of R intersection S is 0 0.28. So we get 7 over 10. Let's go to D. The following Venn diagram shows the events R and S. See the, the reason for I prime intersection S. R prime intersection S means uh, not R but S. So basically we shaded uh, this area. Then find the probability of uh, S given R prime. That equals probability of S intersection R prime over probability of R prime, 0 0.12. Since the probability of R prime equals 1 minus probability of R, which equals 1 minus 0 0.7 we will get 0 0.12 over 0 0.3 equals 2 over 5.